Okay, and hello everybody, Kryptonites here. I know it's been a minute since I've been around and I apologize. Life is life and, and certain things just required a lot of my attention. Um, I've been keeping Black updated about what's going on. <clears throat> so I haven't been completely gone, but uh, just really haven't had the, uh, unfortunately, the time to do a proper video. So for those of you new to my channel, just so you know what this is, this is uh, basically my thoughts and, and whatnot on the current market, my strategies and whatnot, and um, also any tips, tricks, tutorials concerning uh, the trading bot Apex Trader. We are now in version 0.11, which uh, came out a couple weeks ago and absolutely fantastic. They did, uh, the team behind us did a really great job in putting this together. Um, and I'll be doing a whole new series of tutorials uh, after this video is done and hopefully have them out within the next day and a half. So I uh, just also want to give you guys an update. We are now at 103 subscribers. So I just want to thank everyone real quick for the support. Um, I never thought I would actually get up to that many subscribers to begin with. So you guys have been awesome. Your comments, um, you know, uh, all that. Thank you very much. Um, so going forward, uh, now that things have settled down, I'm going to continue to try to spruce up the channel a little bit um, and uh, you know, obviously continue with these videos. Uh, if you do like my videos, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, you know, Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you want to know when new videos come down and I'll make sure to ring yours as soon as they do. You know, Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Communication, it's always important. So. Uh, just another quick reminder, folks, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not here to give you financial advice or investment advice for how to spend your money. Uh, this is just merely my opinions on, you know, uh, the market, you know, a very small technical analysis where I think things are going. And you can take it from there. Just don't forget to do your own research, your own thought, uh, you know, your own, uh, you know, look at other videos, look at, you know, read the news, uh, talk to you know, other people in Discord or, or wherever and Reddit and whatnot to really learn and form your own opinions to figure out what where the market's going and what you want to do with your own money. Uh, so I'm just going to start off where I've been the past couple weeks. I've been kind of doing some swing trades with Bitcoin, hitting those uh, dips and those peaks, uh, you know, just really just concentrating more on increasing my positions overall. Um, I've also done some work on... Uh, tweaking the bullish aspect of Nightmare. Uh, I have a really good solid sideways strat, which I've been happy with, but it really hasn't, it wasn't aggressive. And uh, so I played around over last week and um, now I'll show you my performance real quick. I'm really happy with it. I haven't had them running full days. Uh, you know, I've only been having them run partial days these two days. I didn't have them on for long. Uh, this one wasn't even on at all and, and this one, uh, you know, it was more just to clear any positions that were over here. Uh, I had it on for about uh, eight hours today, ten hours. So, you know, it's been doing a lot better. I've been happy with it. But with, you know, Bitcoin swings and everything that's been going on and my feelings of where Bitcoin's going, you know, I've been trying to, to keep things down to a minimum and only trading when I've been up. And... An example of what happens when you're not completely paying attention to the market are these three right here. Uh, you know, I got caught in some bad positions. Uh, you know, I just can't stress enough, folks, that yes, trading bots are really helpful and they automate a lot of things for you, but you still have to do your technical analysis. You still have to look at where Bitcoin is going, where the momentum's going for that day. And don't be afraid to turn off your bot for a while. It'll save you money and positions in the long term. So I'm just going to let these things sit. Once I start seeing the reversal in any of these three, I'll uh, pump some more money into them, DCA them a little bit, and uh, you know, hopefully come out with a win. Uh, I'm not really concerned about these. These were from my tradings from the past 10 out from 10 hours earlier today. Um, you know, and I'm at right now. I'm confident they'll clear out, but you know, Bitcoin could take a dive in the next couple hours, which is very possible. And uh, <laughs> I'm stuck in six positions instead of just three. It happens. But they will recover. I'm not really too worried about it at this point in time. 
So let's go over the coin market cap real quick. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is at 55, almost 55% right now, and it's going to continue to rise. So don't be surprised to see that number go up, especially over the next 30 days. And our market cap is at 1 billion, but you know Bitcoin's uh, you know lost another 50%. Um, from when I was doing these videos on a regular basis, so that's really not surprising. So what I want to talk about, and I know that there there are debates all over the place, and everyone's got their opinions on this. I'm going to offer mine, and that's where is Bitcoin going? And right now, uh, you know, we're at what 3210 for the for the day so far and we are right on that 200 moving day average line and now there's been a lot of videos and a lot of talks about uh the 200 day moving average and how bitcoin is just going to bounce right off of there and we're going to the moon i don't want to burst anyone's bubble but the current trend uh the current um uh, sentiment of the market is still very bearish and this is just a line now yes on the bear market back in 2014 see if we can zoom in a little bit here there we go all right so back in and for some reason it's not coming all the way down but my uh the movie line average i'm still learning how to use trading view so you'll have to excuse me but um now we can see that it here is where it bounced off the we had the body of the candle touch down the wick all the way down and then that green candle and that and then this huge giant volume candle that uh matched the initial capitulation candle that started the bear market back in 2013 of December and then we went into like five months of consolidation uh, before no, actually went more six months uh, then before we uh, you know went into that two-year bull run so there's a lot of terms being thrown around like capitulation candles and here's the thing about capitulation candle um, you know, back in December 2013, you had this really large candle that symbolized the beginning of the bear market for uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And then uh, here in January 2015, you had another capitulation candle that was almost just as tall that equaled the volume and symbolized the end of that bear market, then into the consolidation and then the beginning of the uh, bull market for Bitcoin. So I know that this candle right here, and I was almost fooled by it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, for a moment there, I thought that might have been what we were looking for. But when we look at the candle that truly symbolized the beginning of the bear market for 2018, which was in February, February 5th to be exact, um, we can see that the volume is nowhere near from where it needs to be. The volume needs to be right around the top of this candle, if not taller. So previously, you know, in the last, in the only other bear market Bitcoin has had, uh, you know, we're sitting right on that 200 day moving average right now. And I know everyone right now is expecting to see, you know, in the next couple of days or week, whatever, that huge volume candle and the symbolization of the bear market ending and i'll be honest right now what i think is going to happen is we will get a bounce maybe up to 35 to 3600 and then we're going to see the push down right now there's just still too much momentum uh on the downside and i think we can go down even further uh there's just um, unless the bulls just suddenly come out of nowhere i'm not seeing the strength for reversal of the current trend and for us to go into a consolidation period but i do think over the next week or so we will see a bounce and then we'll get back down but you know it is possible for this bounce to go up to you know right around 4100 uh but more likely because there's so many levels of resistance right now uh 
you know, I'm thinking like around 3,600, maybe more like 3,500 where we have a strong resistance now and back down and, uh, you know, our next level of support after, you know, 3,200 is going to be around 2,800. So for me, I'm looking at Bitcoin to go between 2,200 to 2,800 before uh, a change in the market. And I don't really think that any of that's going to happen. Not anytime soon. Maybe another month or so. Uh, you know, we could see a definite reversal in the trend. So with that said, you know, is it possible for, you know, for us to get that capitulation candle, uh, you know, to match the volume that happened back in February? It's possible. Is it likely to happen? Not with the current sentiment in the market not with the push downward of the bears um, and just the lack of support from from the buyers. I'm just not seeing it right now. I think we still have room to go down before, you know, we see that 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 capitulation candle happen. And, you know, the symbolization of the market finally, you know, starting to change a trend. But that also doesn't mean we're going to go from bear to bull. All right, it's not going to go to the moon, you know, the next day. Typically, in any market after the sim after the bear market officially ends, you have to go through a period of consolidation. So you're looking, we're looking probably about another five to six months of trading somewhere between wherever the bottom comes out and probably four or five thousand dollars. There's going to be a lot of crazy trading. There's going to be a lot of opportunities. There's still a lot of opportunities even right now if you're paying attention to the market. And then, you know, probably at the end of 2019 is when we'll start seeing a different momentum swing going into the cryptocurrency market. So I know, you know, there's a lot of panic going on. Some of you are really concerned that Bitcoin's going to disappear. It's not going to disappear. There's a lot of infrastructure that's been happening over the past year. If you've been reading the news, and, not, and I'm not talking about mainstream news, I'm talking about actual cryptocurrency news. Um, you know, we're getting NASDAQ involved. There's so much going on with Bitcoin. And even in like the US, you know, we now have a couple bills in Congress to further help the market grow and offer some regulations in there that won't stifle the growth of cryptocurrency. And it's happening all around the world. You know, yes, we still have a few few countries that are, you know, not working with, you know, that are trying to stop it and you know that's going to happen this is a, an emerging market you're going to have all those types of things but overall you know we're starting to see a change in concession consensus worldwide and a lot of countries major countries you know france swiss even germany um the us you know japan and and a lot of eastern countries are developing regulations that still allow this market to grow and to thrive. So is the bloodbath over with? No, I think we still have a, you know room to go down. I don't think this this line right here is just going to be the toe in the sand, the, the toe that draws the line in the sand, you know, this imaginary wall that Trump wants to build that's gonna keep out everybody. No, I think this this is just the line. It's just an indicator and you know and like, like I said unless the sentiment suddenly changes we'll see I can definitely see us having a small bounce up to 35 3600 but you know unless we break that 4200 area then you know I might feel you know I'll look at the market maybe a little bit differently but for the moment you know I'm, I'm getting ready for it to drop a little bit lower. Uh, again, you know, you have to look at it positively. Uh, there's going to be a bottom. There's going to be a stop. Could it hit $800? You know what? That's very, very possible. It could happen. But look at the opportunities once we find that bottom. You can, you're going to be able to buy in in such a great position 
for the next two years. It's going to set you up. You know, this is another period where if you play the market, you look at once we hit true bottom where your opportunities are. You know, you can just look at the altcoins and look at their pricing right now. And I'm just going to take an example, Tron. You know, I'm a few I'm a huge proponent of Tron. I like Tron. I don't think that he's going they're going to fulfill exactly what they want to do, but they're producing actual dApps. And that's going to be key going into 2019 it is not the white papers, not the speculation, but who is coming out with products that people can use. That's going to be the next step. And to me, Tron's already there. They're, they're getting, they have the infrastructure there. They're producing and coming out with solid, you know, actual apps that people can use. They're at a penny. Uh, estimate is at their peak they'll hit one to three dollars so if you spent 100 usd you got 10,000 tokens of tron you know let's say in two years if you know the speculation is right and it could hit a dollar you know do the math so there's lots of opportunities out there don't look at this market as a negativity look at it as potential opportunities and start making your plans for short term and long term. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If you did like the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button and uh, you know, look out for the next couple days for a couple tutorials on how to use Apex Trader. And also I wanna remind everyone that at the end of this month, Apex Trader will be going up to $50 a month. So make sure you lock in that price now. Uh, Set up your reoccurring payments. You can keep it at $35, but keep in mind that if a payment fails, then when you resubscribe, it's going to go up to 50 bucks. So uh, just a quick reminder on that. And I want to thank everyone for, uh, again, for the support for over the 100 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And we'll be talking to you soon. Happy trading. Crypto Knights out.